Today, we're going to be talking about five advantages of buying a property in Ceará instead of the Rio de Janeiro state. Mm -hmm. Hello there, my name is Luciano Oliveira, I am a Brazilian attorney and we're going to be talking about five advantages of buying a property in Ceará instead of the Rio de Janeiro state. Well, the first reason is the cost. Whatever you're going to buy in Rio de Janeiro, you're going to pay cheaper here in Ceará. The cost of living is lower in Ceará. If you buy a reasonable apartment in an emerging neighborhood in Rio de Janeiro for one million reais, the same property here in Ceará, you would probably pay somewhere between 300 and 400,000. So probably less than half what you would pay in Rio de Janeiro. The second reason is the quality of life or the lifestyle. Rio de Janeiro is a huge city, as you probably know, almost 10 million people in the capital. And Ceará, on the other hand, is a much less densely populated state. You can have much more land to enjoy. You have a really large state in Ceará as a whole. And there are so many different uh, landscapes and, and options of villages and towns. You also have much more options in Ceará than in Rio de Janeiro. About the quality of life specifically, Rio de Janeiro unfortunately is, is becoming known for a certain level of violence and crime. Again, it's a huge city and we can say that Fortaleza is not free of crimes and, and violence, but for sure we can say that there is much less crimes and, and violence in, in Sierra, as I stated, than you would see in Rio de Janeiro. Also in terms of quality of life, because your money is going to buy more services and buy more in Sierra as a whole. For those who have like a limited budget, Sierra is going to be a, a better choice for sure. In Sierra, you have a more laid back style. So if you are a more laid back style of person, Sierra is, is your choice. Although if you are a more urban person, then Rio de Janeiro is going to combine the feeling of a really large city with all the conveniences with still some level of nature. In terms of natural attraction, both states, they are probably going to be on the same level. The attractions in Sierra, they are again more laid back. They are more easily accessible in terms of cost than they are in Rio de Janeiro. And they offer pretty different experiences. If you know Rio de Janeiro, you should visit Sierra to get a feeling and to experience the attractions here as well. In terms of economic development and development in general, uh, Rio de Janeiro is far ahead. Rio de Janeiro is one of of the most developed areas in the country but Fortaleza is quickly catching up and it's probably fair to say that in terms of uh, growing in terms of economic development and opportunities Fortaleza and Ceará as a state are ahead of Rio de Janeiro Rio de Janeiro is this more stable state this more stable society they, they were the capital of the country in the past so you, you may imagine the level of infrastructure that the city has on the other hand, Fortaleza, as the capital of Ceará, has become the most important city in the northeast part of Brazil. So this demonstrates that the state as a whole is doing the right thing when it comes to economic development and, and public policies. Finally, there is also a kind of society trace that you can compare between the, the two states. Rio de Janeiro has been plagued by uh, corrupt political leaderships. Out of the last 10 governors, five were sent to jail because of corruption charges. Of course, you can always ask, maybe there is some level of political issues for uh, these people to be sent to jail. But the truth is that there is a really high level of corruption in the political leadership that is probably permeating the society as a whole. So even in real estate transactions, we see a lot of corner cutting in Rio de Janeiro. We need to fight really hard for our clients to have like straightforward transactions. People, they are not going to declare their properties when they are selling properties 
properties they want to under declare the amount that the property is valued to not pay taxes so in Rio de Janeiro we see this happening more often than it happens in Fortaleza and Ceará as a whole of course again Fortaleza and Ceará they are not free of such issues but when you compare the two states we can say that Ceará and Fortaleza they are probably ahead of Rio de Janeiro when it comes to doing the right thing so I hope this video was helpful. If you have a question, feel free to post it below and follow us for more.